Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing some first impressions. I've got uh, one from Tarte, a couple from Makeup Revolution Pro using the HD palette. I'm also using one of their new lippies, so I kind of make mention of how that um, relates to MAC or what you can expect. I've got a couple products from Milani that I just tried. So if you want to see uh, this video using some new products and kind of getting a review or first impressions on each of those, stay tuned. Okay, so today we are going to be playing with some new bits and this is the Tardius Pro Glow. I got this out of my FabFitFun subscription that comes once a quarter. So. I'm really excited about this because in my BoxyCharm box, I had gotten the Tardius Pro in the liquid form. And this one, this color is in Sparkler. And I've talked about this in several videos. I just do not like liquid or cream highlighters. This one is the freaking bomb. I've never seen a liquid highlighter work like that. So I'm just... I'm just stunned. It smells really good. Okay, so we've got a sculpt and shade. We've got stunner, fire, lit, and strobe. So we're going to start out with some sculpt. And this is a Morphe brush, a Morphe something something. Yeah, it doesn't say. Can't help you. All right, so I sculpted. Now I'm gonna grab one of my little angle brushes. This is also Morphe. It's a PK4, I think. I don't have my glasses on, which is making it a little difficult. Been having trouble with my eyes lately, really being able to see, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, it's pretty. I actually might pick up, is that, oh, that's cream. Huh. Well, now that I know that that's cream, I'll pick up the handy dandy blender and we will shade under the chin to get rid of that turkey gobbler or at least hide it a little better. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh yeah, it's shading, all right. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet for cheek color, I wanna wait. So we'll wait on the uh, highlighter since I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with my eyes yet. I am going to use the Pro HD palette and this is from Makeup Revolution. I played with it a little bit, so I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. This palette is Amplified 35 Palette Socialite, and I don't have names, so you ain't gonna have names. We make up names. That works. Mm, I've done pinks and purples. Let's go with some of these rosy orange colors today. Yeah, let's do that. And it's kicking out some, it's kicking out some fallout. Just be careful, which this one is fine to have fallout since it's a light color, but when we start getting into the darker colors, we're just gonna have to be really careful. Okay, so we're gonna move it up the notch. We'll pick up this color here, which is kind of pretty, kind of pretty. And we're gonna get it up. I'm trying to use my real estate up there. Get it up higher. I don't like squishing on my color where my crease is and below because, you know, I'm getting that, definitely have that hooded eye going on. So I do like to bring up my colors higher, almost into a faux crease, I guess, for lack of a better word. I don't know if that's, yeah, it's probably not even the right description, but I, I like using my real estate up here since my real estate down here aging isn't as good. Okay, so that's really pretty. We're gonna step it up another color, which is this one right here. Kind of a salmon color. These are blending really nice and are just 
yeah, they're, I'm pretty excited about this Pro Palette. Okay, now I'm going to kind of come down a little further. We're going to pick up this color here because it looks like it's in that same peachy, orangish color. And I haven't switched brushes, but I am using the Morphe E28. Even though they are going on really nice, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a blender brush and go right over them. Since they do have a little bit of fallout, we're going to kind of knock off that fallout, but also gently blend the colors together. And the great part about these colors versus, I just tried some new ones from another company. As soon as I went to blend, all the colors fell right off. Weirdest thing ever. Well, probably not the weirdest thing ever, but I wasn't expecting that. All right, I'm going to pick up this little fluffy guy, which is a Morphe RG18. I think we'll pick up this brown here. This has got some good pigmentation. Okay, I definitely want to pick back up this blending brush and just kind of work on that brown softening. Yes, I said softening. Ha! And this one is a Morphe E61. I guess today I just am using the Morphe brushes. I'm going to pick up, this is a new, uh, from Milani, these hypnotic lights. I tried one the other day and I, I wasn't impressed. So I'm hoping today is better. This is the number four and it's in starlight. Wish my luck. Okay, it's going on chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit where I just put this one oop, on this other eye. Yeah, I think that's more of a eye topper. It's very, very thin and they don't dry very fast. So I'm gonna actually, I guess, try to use that to my benefit this morning and pick up a flat brush and I want to go ahead and use this rose-ish color here to go with my salmons. Then I think I'm going to come down the shade a bit and use this one right here on the other side of that fluffy brush. Picking back up this brush, I'm going to go back in with that brown and smudge out that little line. It did give some fallout, so I'm just going to kind of flick off that fallout for right now. I'm going to pick up the color Earthquake from Marc Jacobs. I do like the color Espresso from L'Oreal, so we're going to pick that up. On This is an e.l.f. angled brush. Recently I picked this brush back up and I've fallen back in love with it. I don't know why I cheated on it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this white color here to kind of highlight up underneath this brow bone or eyebrow. I think I'm going to pick up this color here, this salmon color, on this fluffy brush I was using on the top lash line. Now I'm going to use a finer tip flat brush, picking up that brown. Which that brush is from Bare Minerals. 
and it is not soft. All right, we're gonna put on our first coat or two of mascara, and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the face. Okay, in typical Amy fashion, we've ended up with a black stripe of mascara on my nose. Surprise, right? Okay, so part of our first impressions, um, we are going to use this color called Life on the Dance Floor VIP Lipstick Invite Only. This is also for Makeup Revolution. So we are gonna try that. I don't think I have any Makeup Revolution lip liners. So I'm gonna pick one from Morphe called Sweet Tea. For some reason, I always gravitate to this color. And mama don't like sweet tea. Hot tea, not sweet tea. And that needs to be sharpened. It just scratched the hell out of my lips. All right. So these Makeup Revolution lipsticks, I mean, buddy, they really seal these suckers. I mean, they feel good. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I'm wrestling a gorilla this morning. So this ended up a little bit more pinky than I had anticipated. I had wanted more of an orangish color, but you know, when you don't have a plan and you just kind of do, it just happens. This color is way lighter than I thought, but kind of moving the lip liner into it to darken it up is nice. It, for a first impression, these are really, really creamy, like really creamy. They remind me of a MAC, except MAC settles down a little bit more. These feel like it's still got some lipstick in, or lip gloss in them so it's almost like to me a combo between like a mac and then if you stuck a lip gloss over the top of mac that's what these feel like from the get-go i think that's going to be a really good one for winter because they're just absolutely creamy but like i said but a little creamier than a little slippery, kind of like a lip gloss almost. I cannot get this off. I was gonna try the hypnotic. So we're gonna try another hypnotic bit from Milani, and this is a number 01 Luster Light. So I'm just gonna dab that, if I can open the dang thing, on the center of the lip. And you know, I've just not been impressed with this Milani rollout and that's really unfortunate because I like Milani. Normally their products are pretty good but the blush I got I gave it away. The highlighter I got I gave it away and I'll probably it looks like now I'm having the same issues with now two of the five as far as the what do you call it hypnotic eye things. Either I'm putting them on wrong or they're just not working for me. And man, Milani's packaging is like wrestling a gorilla worse than what Makeup Revolutions was. That lip topper's fun. We'll see how well that dries down because it feels very wet. Okay, so for our cheeks, I think I'm going to go with this peachy color here from Makeup Geek and the color is Infatuation towards the front of the cheek. And then I'm gonna take this darker one called Summer Fling towards the back of the cheek. The craziest thing, it's like all my blush brushes have, are, have come up missing. Okay, so again, and we're gonna take this brighter one here. just get that really good back on the temple. I'm gonna pick back up the Tardius Glow and I think I want to pick up Fire. Palette smells good. Very 
Very pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go finish with hair and I may do some false eyelashes. Not sure just yet, but definitely got to do something with this hair. So I shall return. Thank you so much for watching today as I reviewed some new products with Milani, some Tarte, some Revolution Pro or Revolution Makeup Pro. We'll just call it whatever. We'll just call it whatever. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.